views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Welcome. I want to welcome you to the show. We've got a fabulous show for all of you today. And I don't even know exactly how to talk about the technology, except that uh, my understanding is that if you're listening to this show um, in your car, if you're listening to it on the Internet and you go to the Dr. Pat show on Facebook, that this is a live Facebook show. And the reason we're doing a live Facebook show today is because my very special guest is Colette Marie Stephan. Today's show is what the (laughs) dragons want you to know. Now, why is this important? And what is my friend, you know, Colette Marie doing with these dragons? Well, you're going to hear all about them and you're going to be introduced to this energy that is shaping the world today. And it's shaping the world in many, many ways. You know, you've seen all of us look at art and you've seen us do focus on what we know about art. How does art show up in our lives? What are the messages that are coming forward? And if you're looking on Facebook, you know, over my left shoulder, you're probably looking at a beautiful goddess head that came to me many years and years ago to create. Now, why did that happen? Well, Colette is somebody that can tell you much more about that. You know, (laughs) if you listen to her show, The Truth is Funny, every week, you get introduced to the many, many ways that we could take a look at our lives upgrade wherever we are, no matter what we're doing, just get in the flow of things with that and know that we don't have to settle. We don't have to settle for things in life, compromise about them. We just may need an energetic upgrade or a correction. Now, what does that mean? It means that when we can't hold the space for ourselves And when we don't know how to work through some of the things of our past, even our past lives, that's when we call Colette Marie Stephan and the truth is funny. (laughs) Today, welcome to Tales from the Vector. Colette, it's great (laughs) to have you here. (laughs) Oh, it's always a pleasure to connect with you, Pat, (laughs) and all all of the audience out there. It's 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 a real pleasure. It 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 uh, is so much fun. Well, today's show is what do the dragons have to say? But before we jump into what they have to say, what I would like to do is know from you, tell us about your journey with the dragons. Because right behind you, we have to tell people what that is. <laughs> well, I'll I'll just flip the screen up here. Oh, boy. That's, wow. uh, that's um, attitude and manifester. Um, those are part of the tales from the vector. And those dragons are from the Pleiades, and they are the seven sisters. I have now um, attitude, I have manifester, I have courage, and I have um, uh, the heart dragon, which is unfettered. Here's unfettered. <laughs> oh, wow. I keep, she's upside down <laughs> because she, she doesn't fail in love. She falls in love. <laughs> I say that um, the message she gave is that the difference between falling and failing is just a matter of I. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but you know that's really interesting because you know there is a uh, the tagline to the show has always been what would you do if you knew you could not fail and I love that question only because it's been the question for me that I've had to ask myself throughout my life you know am I willing to step out on what what I like to say uncensored you know do I want to be able to show up and not censor my consciousness and abundance and all of the goodies that the universe has for me. The answer is generally going to be, no, I don't want to do that. But you know what? I just don't have the tools because as you've helped me with, there may be some sludge getting in the way here. Absolutely. Um, A lot of people will say, uh, I'll believe it when I see it. (laughs) <laughs> and unfortunately, um, most people, I mean, we only see 4% of the electromagnetic spectrum of, you know, rays of light. So yeah. we, we can only see 4% of what's really out there. So, um, you know, if you, if you have to see it to believe it, then you're missing out on 96% of the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. That's kind yeah. of what I deal with is um, being a very visual person also and, and loving to do art and all of that. I still um, really enjoy the other parts, you know, that I can't see. <laughs> Yeah. You know, let's talk about this for a minute because I pointed out earlier, I have a friend of mine with me here over my left shoulder um, and you have a couple of friends with you, (laughs) right? And like, here's the thing, right? I, I think about, wait a minute, when I sat down to do that, how did that happen? Well, here you go. I won appetizer forks at a white elephant. That's what makes her crown. And I won them at this white <laughs> elephant. And I, I have to tell you, I so wanted these these gold appetizer forks because I could see in that moment, right, these 2,000 appetizer forks and what they were going to create. I had never done anything like that, and they spoke to me. Is it like that for you? Totally. Um, when I started, um, first the first dragon appeared to me, and that was Ange. I'll see if I can find her here in the mix here while <laughs> I'm telling this. Um, uh, Ange appeared to me over 10 years ago. She told me that she was from the Intergalactic Federation of Light. This is Ange. That she was from um, the Intergalactic Federation of Light about wow. unconditional love for the planet. And Ange is she told me that she was, um, uh, she's the crystal queen, that she laid all the eggs that, um, she, she laid all the eggs around the earth that became the veins of the crystals of, um, around the earth. And then finally, when she, um, and she told me that she was the first of 64 dragon or, uh, uh, 64 cards in an oracle that I would be painting. And, I, I, at that time, was like, uh, do dragons like to be painted small? <laughs> and and she, uh, as you can see, no, they don't. <laughs> and I have studied, like, uh, energy, move, you know, the movement of energy and the quantum physics behind it with the Resonance Project Foundation. I'm an emissary of their, of their program. Um, I've studied, taken many modalities. I've been very blessed to have a lot of different, really wonderful mentors from around the world. But these dragons have been hanging out with me for 10 years. And at first I was like, I didn't understand why 64. And uh, it's because of the 64 tetrahedron grid, which is connected to the flower of life. And so uh, I started teaching seminars uh, about seven or eight years ago. I have traveled around the world and taught seminars. And... um, Now I realize I was called to Kelowna, British Columbia. (laughs) And that's not surprising now because we do have a water dragon here named Opogo (laughs) (laughs) that um, several people have been, um, have seen. And really interesting, just uh, two days ago, uh, was it two days ago? Yes, two days ago, I went for a tour up at the Pyramid, uh, Summer Hill Pyramid Winery where they are um, doing, they make the most, they make wonderful wine and they have this beautiful, beautiful setting, but they built a huge pyramid out there to the specifics of the one in Egypt. And um, they age their wine in there and they have uh, soul, you know, like meetings there um, on the new moon and the full moon for community. 
And um, they're really starting a project here right now to have um, the uh, whole valley become totally and completely organic. And, um, and I'm part of, because I'm close by here, I'm part of the Nectar Trail that we are planting wildflowers again in our yards, wow. in little places, so that the bees can get up the hill. I, I, I've learned so much about bees <laughs> and being happy. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, and so I, I've been very fortunate to have be in this area right now where a lot of the people here are very much um, geared towards sustainable living community, creating community. I want to create community. Um, and this is what the dragons have always told me that they are here with unconditional love. Now I, I did not really bring them out for 10 years because there were 64. I have, uh, 44 done now. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. You're almost done. Wow. I can't, I, I, I mean, I think this, I love that you said that they, they, you know, they haven't come out till now because I have to tell you, uh, she is one. And by the way, she is a self portrait. So, you know, people say to me, do you give them names? And I say, well, no, I don't give them names. They have names though. But this one told me this was a self portrait and people say to me, why did you give yourself a beard? on that <laughs> and i'm like there's no show why us, yeah. you show us we can't see it i'll bring it up when we come back okay. from break but here, here the deal is i don't know why i i don't know why but this is what i was instructed to do when we come back we're not only going to talk about what you've done we're going to open up the phone lines tell folks that uh, what, what we're going to do with the readings here and the and the cards and the dragons well, I love the, the cards. Actually, the cards are um, to stimulate int uh, intuition for people. And they also, you know, many, many times, um, generally it takes me three to six months to do one of these large paintings. Uh, and so what's happened is I've imprinted them with the energy of the crystals, of the energy of the country, because they tell me where they're from. And then also, um, I've also imprinted them with a lot of energetic shifting um, that wow. I do uh, as I'm painting them. I'm constantly, okay, what's going on in the world? What needs to be shifted here? And, you know, I'm kind of on automatic that way because I can pick up these weaknesses. Um, this one, Courage, she took me three years to do. Wow. <laughs> Um, courage was, um, is, um, the solar plexus. That's where people, I call it the bottleneck where people, um, and we can talk about it when we come back from break, but where people, and actually she was the card that wanted to be, um, speak first here today, <laughs> um, about that, about having the courage right now in today's world to move forward. Exactly. Let's take a short break, everyone. When we come back, we're going to be opening up the phone lines. And I'm not exactly sure. I have to ask Jessica, how are we going to take people coming across on social media and Facebook? Uh, and Jessica will Skype right in how we're going to do that. But the point <laughs> is, you know, Colette is going to bring forth the dragon that's calling your name, 1-800-930-2819, 1-800-930-2819. Follow us on, on Facebook right now at the Dr. Pat Show. This is live video streaming. This and much more with Colette Marie Stephan. We'll be right back. <laughs> She wants me to come over, I can tell her eyes don't lie. She's calling me in the dark. She moves the sweat the room around the lights up like the sky. Confidence like a rock star. I wanna put my hand. Tune in to the Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? Really? Check us out. Go to transformationradio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. 
We are transforming the world one listener at a time. Be you plus live your purpose equals joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that are meant to make the world brighter. Each show will feature an art visioning journal prompt to help you create your way to soul clarity. If you're ready to get unstuck and create more joy, this show is for you. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit VickiWorldArt.com. Discover the healing medicine from the giant monkey tree frog, Cambo. Cambo practitioner Ginny Rutherford and professional psychic Todd Rolson have come together for lively discussions of alternative healing medicines from the Amazon. Ginny and Todd bring you Cambo Talk Radio. Tune in each Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific to hear from guests all over the world with real life stories and the medicinal benefits of Cambo. For more information, visit CamboKiss.com. Curious about the meaning of life? Do you want to deepen your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. The school also organizes group meditations each year to benefit humanity. Whether you're just beginning to reflect on the spiritual side of your life or are a more experienced spiritual seeker, the school warmly welcomes you to join our group. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit esotericstudies.net. That's esotericstudies.net. Hey, everybody, welcome back. I'm Dr. Pat, and I've got my colleague and my co host, Colette Marie Stefan, joining me here today. Um, you know, when Colette's in the house, things happen. Today, what do the dragons have to say? Now, you know, what do they want to say? What do they have to say? What are they saying? And later on in the show, kind of uh, tell you a little bit about what happened to me one day when I went to the website, Tales from the Vector, T-A-I-L-S, from the Vector. When I went to the site and I was like, Colette, Colette, there's this dragon and I think it's talking to me. But before we get to that, (laughs) we have a fabulous caller, Mr. Benny. Who do we have? We'll take Joanna calling in from England. Hello, Joanna. Hi, Joanna. Uh, Hello. Hello. Hi, Joanna. Hello. I want to say, Joanna. Hello, Colette. If Hi. <laughs> Hello. I first called call today. <laughs> I was meaning to call on, on your Wednesday show, but I just uh, I saw a post uh, on Facebook and I thought, oh, this is my day. <laughs> it is <laughs> your you day. <laughs> it's your lucky day today. Uh, so, Colette, I'm going to turn it over to you. Let's rock it. Joanna, what can we do for you today? Um, yes, I, I never actually had a, a card pulled out for me, and um, and the theme that I was going, um, I think maybe last week or two, I was thinking that um, um, I, it felt like you know I um, I have this theme coming through my mind uh, from, through my life that I'm just a burden for people. Mm. <laughs> it's like that, you know. Okay. Like it, it was like for my I was a burden for my mother. It feels like uh, what well, I've been told. Okay. I just so, like to get a. I like to get just a, um, a indication from you, a baseline where you're at with this. Like when you think about being a burden to your own mother, on a scale of zero to ten, ten being the highest, like the worst. What? Where are you on that scale? Like ten. Yeah. Um, this is the card that I um, got for you here. This card, I should just explain, um, my cards that are on the diagonal like this um, are cards that mean there needs to be a direction taken, a change in direction in thinking, 
in um, doing that. There's something that um, horizontally, if, uh, if it's a horizontal card, it means that the card is telling you that uh, what the direction that you're going in, and this is the wrong, that it's not the wrong direction, but you're weak to the direction you're going in. And what I wanted to tell you about that is, is um, the, the, the cards that are horizontal are cards that I drew. There's 25 visions that I've driven, uh, uh, drawn on these cards when I went to Peru to ayahuasca ceremony. And one of the cards, this card here was very, very challenging. That was a very challenging time for me in ceremony because um, what happens is that the problems that come from generation after generation down the maternal line, quite often we, we think that they are um, about our, our own children, about ourselves, about our lovers, fathers of our children, etc., our husbands, whatever. We, we don't, um, people when they have a problem, they think it's about something. And I can guarantee you it's never what you think it is. <laughs> so um, mm -hmm. that card yeah. is a card that is saying, um, it, these these issues are passed through the bloodline and this is actually a karmic space that all, all, almost everyone on the planet shares and um this this mm -hmm. is this karmic space is about anger and um you know we get into um we can get into a situation where our our ancestors have been so angry that they actually pass this down to us through the bloodline and that's what this card is about, is that when a baby is in the womb and a mother has fear or a mother is concerned about, you know, that is there going to be enough food to feed this child? Is there, you know, am I going to be look, able to look after this child? Quite often we'll, rec we'll, we'll get that, um, uh, it'll be like spoken to us in a way of anger because a lot of people accept anger as a motivational force. So what we want to do is we want to strengthen you to this. <laughs> you are never mm -hmm. a burden. I was told in ceremony that there is no such thing as bad blood. <laughs> blood is life force energy. And every child, every single child that is born on this earth was conceived with love, regardless of how that the conception happened between the parents, regardless of how the mother feels at the time or the father feels at the time or the grandparents feel at the time. Every child is conceived in love because God makes children. <laughs> we co-create with God and our children come to us as gifts. And yes, they are a lot of work. <laughs> I can attest <laughs> to that. <laughs> I have two daughters and it may appear yeah. That, that, you know, that children are a lot of work. It's another mouth to feed, et cetera, et cetera. But oh. you have to understand that these children that are coming to you, that, that um, um, it's a gift. And hey, never, ever, welcome, ever are uh, you ever yeah. going to learn more from your children, uh, from anyone than your children. Um, because you love them so much. And so that's why your mom, yeah. I'm just getting that your mom, you were originally from Poland. Yes, yes, that's me. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of war situations. So when a mother mm -hmm. is um, afraid, and she's afraid in, in sort of a war-torn country or a country that has had a lot of war happening, what happens is that fear gets passed into the womb. And as you know, the amniotic fluid, it, that's water, and that's where we tend to carry our emotions. So your mother's fear may look to you like anger or that you were a burden, but that's not what it was. The burden was that the people around are invested in war <laughs> rather than in peace. And if a woman has a, a beautiful life growing in her belly and she can feel it expanding and looking at it, that is um, that affects the, the fetus because of the the amniotic fluid becomes very full of fear and of the mother's emotions. Mm -hmm. And so we're just going to strengthen this up and down your family line. I'm getting in touch with your midline. And, um, you know, it's very interesting. Sharan Sirdar quite often is on my show and she's a geneticist turned epigeneticist. 
we've worked together a lot on this yeah. and it's being proven now all around and through science that our our dna can um, changes with our emotions and with our physical environment and that's kind of like what these dragons are saying is they're saying take a look around your environment and make sure that there's not things in your environment that are blocking you. I've said this for a very long time, that the physical environment is very important in our homes. Um, after my first call to dance seminar, which I just had back March, a month ago now, um, it was really wild because uh, I, came, I came home and, you know, and I started feng shuiing my house for <laughs> 30 days. <laughs> Those those dragons kept me busy, and <laughs> I when when Cindy Lee Will um, Yelland was giving her little one hour talk about the feng shui, we started shifting the energy for everybody in the room, and everybody was just like, "I want to go home and start cleaning my house," <laughs> and I identified five hundred things in my home that were limiting my success. I've got six left that I haven't quite come across yet, but I just, de I was determined to um, find where these were in my home and the dragons kind of, they have a place where they like to be. And that information is on Tales from the Vector and it's part of my call to dance <laughs> thing right now. I would just like to um, tune in to you again right now, Joanna, and just ask you, yeah. where are you at now? Number-wise, yeah. has um, it shifted? It feels clear. I feel so much better. It's, yeah, you're when, neutral. When you, when you were saying about the house, yes, when you were saying about the house, this is an, a, an issue for me because I've never had my own place. Even living with my mother, she would always say, this is my house, you just live with me. And I, I keep renting places and it's like, I wish I could have my own place one day. Okay, so we're going to strengthen you to that, that um, even when you don't have your own house, for everyone out there listening to this, if you don't have your own house, you can still claim your space. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to strengthen. Um, you're, you're neutral now, Joanna. Like, I, I get you're at a zero. And... Um, so we're going to strengthen your shift, your because from a 10 to a zero is a huge shift. Yeah. We're going to strengthen that for everybody else out there that's afraid they're going to lose their home or they are um, never had a home or maybe perhaps they're out in the street homeless. We're just going to strengthen everybody to having a home. Your body is your home. <laughs> you are a soul that is traveling in your body. And when you have... Um, when you're strong to being in your body, and that would be this card here, right here, expression. The body is expressing what the soul and the spirit are experiencing on this earth right now. This card is a beautiful card. This is about homeostasis of the um, body. Um, some of my cards in the deck are dragonflies because dragonflies are very intimately connected to dragons and they're a little bit smaller. So the paintings are a little bit more um, shiny because <laughs> they're a little bit smaller. <laughs> um, I just want to put that out there to everyone to recognize that you're at home in your body and that any room you walk into, anywhere you go, that you can claim space in that way and just strengthen that for everybody. That feels really good. Thank you for calling in, Joanna. You're really I think it's amazing. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to take a short break, everyone. When we come back, we're taking your calls. 1-800-930-2819. And also, don't forget to watch us right now on Facebook. This is live. We've got more dragons coming to the forefront. Colette Marie Stephan in the house. When we come back, we're going to probably skip the next break and make sure we're bringing all the dragons we can to you. Let's take a <laughs> short break. We'll be right back. Like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes. Uh uh, uh uh. It feels like a perfect night for breakfast and midnight. Are you looking for the perfect setting for your next workshop or retreat? At Spirit Fire Meditative Retreat Center, cultivating consciousness is what we do best. Our guests count on us to create an atmosphere that supports serenity and well being. We lead from the heart and create space for the mind. 
Freshly prepared meals designed with local and organic ingredients, 95 acres of beautiful woods and pastures, and a facility built with green in mind. This is what you'll find at Spirit Fire. For more information, visit spiritfireretreatcenter.com. Thrive is what we experience when our mind, body, and soul operate as one. When we thrive, we excel on all levels. Thrive is the mindset that matters. It is essential to our being. Have you ever found yourself looking for the instruction manual on how to thrive? You'll find everything you need to help you feel strong, powerful, and peaceful in your own body. So don't waste any more time. Visit thrivebygen.com today. Tune in to Dynamics of Diversity Radio, scripting the new narrative for immigration with leading experts, Kripa Upadhyay and Steve Tanijo on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This show will remove the noise that often accompanies discussions on this topic and share a new perspective on the dynamics of immigration and diversity, ever reminding us that together we are all at the core of innovation, excellence, and positive change. Visit OrbitLawPLLC.com for upcoming topics. Hey, did you know why they call the foundation the foundation? It's called the foundation because it completely eliminates your foundation for what you thought your reality was and creates a whole new space where you can have an entirely new reality that is foundationless. So from my point of view, they should call it the unfoundation or the foundationlessness. Either way, there's a big new global rewrite happening again because these guys cannot stop changing. There should be like a change anonymous that Gary and Dane go to. And it's happening April 28th to May 1st. You can find out about it at accessconsciousness.com forward slash global foundation. It's happening in Paris. Go to Paris or do it online or find a pod near you. These are all the options you have. And what else is possible? When your body is awakened, your spirit comes alive. Dana Canetto is a transformational guide, embodiment coach, and spiritual mentor assisting women in realigning with their truth and embodying who they are by connecting to the wisdom of their body. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio and the Dr. Pat Show Network for Body Divinity Radio with Dana Canetto. For more information on Dana and her services, visit danacanetto.com. That's D-A-N-A-C-A-N-N-E-T-O.com. I know, I like to forget about the deadlines all the time, but that's something like the Sagittarius people have, right? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't know being a Sagittarius. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, like, thank goodness for my Capricorn. That's all I'm saying. Um, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the show. Colette Marie Stefan is joining us here today. And you're probably used to her talking about the truth is funny and doing certain things. Today, I want to share with all of you another aspect of my friend Colette and dragons why because the energy and the clearing sometimes Colette for me like my buddy back here sometimes I need to express in a form that may be very very different than the energy that I'm in 24 7 around the around the day and isn't that true for you too I mean who knew you did that and I did that I know. We are on Facebook live stream and something somewhere. <laughs> I know. But the thing was, was they appeared to me like 11 years ago. Ange was the first. And I actually thought, you know, I, I'm not going out there. <laughs> what I'm talking about is already cutting edge enough. And yeah. if I add dragons to that, I, I felt I needed to write a book and maybe teach some seminars and gain some credibility, <laughs> have That's a radio crazy. show. <laughs> and, now, and now we do the dragons. Now you and I do the dragons. And by the way, she's telling me, yeah, I was not the first, but I should have been. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really funny because um, I, I don't know how this ended up happening, but I ended up doing a holistic fair on um, Easter Sunday. 
And it was so funny. We just laid the cards out on the table and we asked people as they went by. And there was like 200 and some people that walked through. And of those people that um, chose a card, this is the one that they chose right here. And this is the disruption card. Oh, nice. Is, all the holiday season uh. <laughs> <laughs> and almost like 20 some people chose this card, even if we buried it at the bottom. And uh, it's because there's a lot of, um, of information around holiday season. A lot of people were like, they'd say, what is this card about? And we'd say, oh, you know, maybe you had a gathering with your family and it didn't turn out quite like you thought. And they're like, oh, don't, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You think it didn't turn out a little bit like they thought. Well, you know, that's what happens. How do we deal with the unexpected as well as the expected? We've got somebody waiting to talk with you, Mr. Benny. Who do we have? We'll uh, take now Carol calling in from Bellingham, Washington. Hello, Carol. Carol. Hello there. How Hello. are you? <laughs> I'm all right. How are you doing? <laughs> awesome. awesome. I want you to meet my friend Colette. <laughs> Hi, it Colette. It feels so strange to be on video and radio and Facebook and Skype. <laughs> Isn't it a little bit like, yeah, it's like I'm, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, it's not quite multitasking. It's multi-universal, energetic, just spread everything all over the world. <laughs> Carol, how can we help you today? Okay, I would love a reading. Um, and I am trying, I've been really trying to understand the relationship with my mom. And mm -hmm. maybe we could focus the reading in that area. There you go. As soon as <laughs> uh, this card has been wanting to be shown here. This is mother's, um, this is the card about mother's worry. Mm. And I wrote a book about this. It's called The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens, Stuff You Wish Your Mom Had Known to Tell You. <laughs> 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 and when I was in ceremony, I was shown a video. Um, it was very long. It seemed like it lasted, like, I don't know, a thousand years. <laughs> Probably wasn't quite that long. Uh, it was the first ceremony. And, oh, my goodness, I was shown everything and I do mean everything I ever did wrong with my daughters <laughs> it was brutal brutal and I was you know like I you know I did my best as a mom <laughs> but it was like looking at them the wrong way crushing their spirit I could have said this but I said that I could have picked them up and hugged them instead of yelling at them you know um, I could have um um oh, Oh, I could have uh, trusted in them more. I could have, oh, I could have, I should have, I would have, I supposed to. Oh, my God, it was horrible. I cried and I cried and I cried and I blew my nose. I had, that's the, the wad here <laughs> holding on there. <laughs> um, I was um, devastated and uh, I was um, very, very resistant to purging which is what happens when you're in ceremony with ayahuasca. And so if you fight the purge, what happens is um, you suffer longer, basically. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, and finally, the madre said to me, you know, at the end, when I finally purged, there you go. That's not what your daughters and I think of you as a mom. We thought you were great. <laughs> this was your stuff. <laughs> and um, we need to recognize this. You know, so many of us harbor, you know, grudges against our mothers in particular because, you know, really they're the ones that brought us into the world. What a beautiful gift, you know. And a lot of times, you know, I've studied with Herman Mueller, who is a psychosomatic therapist, and I have my teacher's certificate in there. It's a very, he's a brilliant man, and he studied what happened to um, babies that were born in mothers after, well, during World War II in Germany, because he was in Germany at the time. And mm -hmm. he studied the effects on, on, on the children, on the fetuses, on the babies, from the mother's worry and concern and fear. And, he, you know, it's, it's amazing what happens. So, you know, what we want to do is we want to get, are you a mother yourself? I am. Okay. Uh, uh, how many children? Three. And uh, do you have daughters? No. 
just sons. It was very interesting because this is what's coming up. You would think it's the opposite, but I asked the shaman, what, you know, what did the madre mean when she said that only a son can understand the pain a mother goes through? And I realized later, like, I mean, it, it took me a while to really feel this um, because sons become men and then they marry women and then they see what their fathers maybe did or didn't do to empower the mothers. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. And so we want to, we want to, um, you know, send a big ball of love out there yeah. to all the mothers in the world here. Yeah. You know, yeah. mothers, you know, a lot of times it may appear they're angry or they're, um, you know, they're impatient or whatever, but a lot of times um, there's fear. And it is not uncommon for mothers to actually be jealous of their daughters without recognizing it. And it's not uncommon for mothers uh, and daughters to not want to surpass their mothers and have a better life than their mothers. And so we want to clear, I can feel that running through my body right now. Um, most people will say, oh, I, you know, I work very mm -hmm. hard so I can educate my children and does so they could have a better life. But then yeah. when they have a better mm -hmm. life, we're kind of jealous of them, you know? I know, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. Wow. What a great reading. Thank you so much for calling in. And we've got a couple more folks that want to talk with uh, you here today. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of skip the break. I want to give a shout out before we go to the phones. I want to thank uh, Megan, all of you folks that are doing this on Facebook and your patience. Rhonda, thank you. Janine, thank you. I can't even list all the people because I don't really know how to do this very well. Uh, but trust me, I'm going to learn. Mr. Benny, who do we have next? Yeah, we'll take Love Trish it. calling in from the uh, Okanagan area up in Canada. Hello, Trish. Oh, there we go. Hi, Trish. Hello, Hello Trish. How are you? <laughs> Good. Awesome. How can we help you today? I would like to... A dragon card reading for today, please. All right. Well, it's funny, you know, um, the reader, the the people that call in are very, um, like, they're just kind of going on to the next step that was coming up. This is the card. Oh, oh wow. This, What's that card? This is a new one, Pat. Yeah. This is, this is um, the karmic space of jealousy. Wow. And the funny thing about the karmic space of jealousy. Oh, wait, she's laughing now. Trish just laughed. <laughs> What's going on with you, Trish? <laughs> um, I don't know. It just kind of seemed a little funny, that's all. Yeah, the <laughs> truth is funny. <laughs> I'll explain why it's funny. Go ahead. Um, a lot of times people think they're jealous of other people. And that we can understand, right? And you'll notice in the back here, there's the greenback, you know, the, yeah. the, the U.S. dollar there, you know. And um, the dolls are from Russia. <laughs> and you'll notice the, the prettiest doll, the most decorated one, and then the looks on the faces of the dolls going down, if, if uh, you can see that. And what... What's funny is jealousy is a karmic space. And I was just talking about jealousy of the mothers to the daughters. But what about when we actually become jealous of ourselves? <laughs> we can become jealous of ourselves when we lost that weight and now we gained it back and we wish we were that person that we used to be. Or we're jealous of ourselves because we, when we gain, when we lose that extra, you know, 20 pounds, then we're going to find the, the man of our life. And then we're going to move forward and then we're going to, and then we're jealous of our future self. <laughs> we can be jealous of our sisters, um, which is silly <laughs> because we're, we're sisters. <laughs> and do you know that it is um, uh, daughter's week? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that, but wow. um, I, I received a message. Uh, my, my father passed 14 years ago. But I received a message from a, a wonderful gentleman who um, has claimed me as his daughter. Um, I've been working with his daughter, <laughs> and he's claimed me as his daughter because um, he had a heart attack. Not just because of that, but he had a heart attack in the Dominican Republic, lives in Ireland. And by the time he got back to Ireland, the damage that was done to his heart 
uh, 12 years ago in a bypass was also fixed. It was very funny because the doctors were all panicking because he definitely seemed to be having a heart attack and his heart said he was having a heart attack. But by the time they got him by ambulance to the ho- to the bigger hospital to do the procedure, they were like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and so um, the jealousy thing is about, um, we want to just recognize that we're not going to be jealous of ourselves, first and foremost. <laughs> and we're not going to be jealous of our sisters. Um, we live in North America. And uh, at this time, especially in Canada, we are free. And uh, we are free to speak for all women around the world. Yeah. And this is what we are doing. And this is what's coming up for you, Tricia. Um, being a woman, being uh, working as a woman. Um, and we're just going to strengthen you to all of that, allowing your beauty to shine through as a woman. And what we want to absolutely make sure everybody knows is that there is a uh, silly deception that we've been taught, and that's this card, deception. It's one of Mm -hmm. the tactics that we are taught. Um, The deception is that there is no war between men and women. (laughs) Uh, We all have male and female qualities. We all have masculine and feminine qualities. And as we merge within ourselves and dedicate ourselves to being um, 50-50 with our energy, it imp- uh, improves our health. Uh, it, we need to recognize that we are masculine and feminine and that we there's no war here. <laughs> there's no war between men and women. I have the best men in my life. I'm so happy to have them in my life. And I am grateful for that and all that I learned from the men around me. I also have these beautiful sisters. <laughs> That's right. And I want to honor both sides of it. And so we need to recognize what we've been told, what we've been taught by our parents, by our grandparents, by society, by the media, the tactics that are being used to turn men against women and women against men. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. We are both. (laughs) And we need to, um, not need to, I'm just shifting that for everybody to recognize that we are both. Yeah. <laughs> and, and as we integrate that within ourselves, then when we step out into the world and we have um, conversation with other people, we can be in a place of mm-hmm. improving the whole world. I love it. Yeah, Trish, thank you so much for today. I mean, what a powerful card. Um, Colette, before we go to one last caller, I think we have one more person that would love to get in here. Um, Folks can go ahead and purchase the the cards as well. And I forgot to tell folks that, right, from the website. Yeah, I I have them on the website. And um, I have to warn you, I'm not playing with full deck yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Will we ever be playing? I don't even imagine you and I ever playing with a full deck, really. But yeah, go ahead. But there are 44 cards there now. And there are some that are um, not quite ready yet. Those are the ones that will that say will hatch soon. They're little eggs. And they will hatch soon. <laughs> As soon as I they gave me the information, unfortunately, um, uh, in the third dimensional world, as we discover in radio time, Pat, yep. the time does become a factor. <laughs> so, it yes, does. this summer I am dedicating myself to um, doing my best to complete this deck because everybody's asking me to. Another thing I want to tell people, you can purchase these individually. You can purchase them in three, um, or you can have me pr- um, choose them for you um, uh, in a like three-card meeting on, the, yeah. on Tales from the Vector. Also, don't be alarmed if they go 3D on you, because they've been 3D for me for uh, about three or four years. Um, some people, when they see these paintings in person, um, yeah. see them in 3D, but now people are um, telling me that the cards are going 3D on them. Mm-hmm. This is just, I don't know, it's just something I was shifting. Uh, someone said, why don't you put them into 3D and have 3D glasses? And I thought, ah, why don't we just make them 3D? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and you're looking at them on the wall. Uh, oh. behind Colette so right there and you know you, you you should mention to folks that these it's just you don't just use paint you're actually using crystals and other things yes. too yeah. 
Yeah. They all have crystals. Um, Ajay, the first one that I was speaking of, she has like something like 86 crystals on embedded in her. Uh, Swarovski crystals, crystals. People give me things too sometimes. And they say, I think you're dragon. I, I always have people phoning me, emailing me, texting right. me. Um, I saw your dragons. They came to me in a dream and they said to give this to you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> hey, they don't tell me um, how, um, why it is. They just tell me how it is. <laughs> I know it. And you know, she is, by the way, she's not the only one of these I have. But I guarantee you, she was the one that said, I'm going to be on TV today. You well, better, you better bring her over, pal. I will. Let's see. do this real quick. I'll bring her at the end. Okay. We have one more caller, and I know we only have a few okay. minutes. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Benny, who do we have? We'll take Irma calling in from Fort Worth, Texas. Irma, what can we do for you today? Uh, hello. Um, hello. I would like to. Hello. <laughs> Um, okay. I would like a dragon card reading. Awesome. So what what is, what is bothering you? Um, I really need to get a new job. And I just recently separated from my husband and I had to move in with uh, with my dad and my brother. And I really don't want to stay there too long. So I've been doing a little bit of a job search so I can get a better job so I can move out. Okay, well, surprisingly, oh, look at that beauty. <laughs> I love it. She She's three-dimensional, by the way, and she has lights on. I love oh. her. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Dragon Card, this one came up. This is this is also a karmic space, other worldly desires. This is actually mm -hmm. um, about orgasmic bliss in life. <laughs> That's where all the O's are. <laughs> uh -oh. Do I have that? Oh, whoops, I have it upside down. There we go. You see the staircase? Yeah. This is about reclaiming yourself first as a woman. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, what I mean by that is reconnecting with yourself 100% here with your divine inner bliss and with that power. And the other one that was coming up is this one, which is innocence. Um, you're with mm -hmm. your dad and your brother right now. And right. for a lot of people having to move in, back in with their parents, I've been there, done that <laughs> years ago. Um, when, when that happens, it feels like we're taking a step backwards. But I want to strengthen you to recognizing that um, the, the problems, the issues that you were having in your marriage are actually mm -hmm. coming up as issues that you are having uh, with the male aspect down your um, paternal line. And also down your maternal line. Uh, it's coming up a distrust of men. And uh, over the ages of, of uh, uh, it's mm, mm, 13 generations on one side, 17 on the maternal side. So we want to strengthen oh, wow. you to this. The reason why you are in your home with your dad and your brother right now is so that mm -hmm. you can energetically shift this for yourself. Okay. And we're just going to strengthen that for you, that you take the judgment out of your situation now. And you allow yourself to recognize that what you're doing right now is you're healing yourself. And so it's okay. how, how brilliant to, because any problems that you also are having in the workforce are generated from having to operate as a woman in a very masculine, male-dominated world. And so mm -hmm. we want to strengthen you to that, that. Um, you're the you're judging your situation and you're judging yourself very very harshly here I'm getting I want to reconnect mm -hmm. you to source energy that is um, you know on the back of the cards of all of my cards I have raw raw the sun and this mm -hmm. is you can you know put it either way so raw is actually my health card um, but it okay. also is on the back of every card yeah and um, um, this dragon, she is the sacral dragon. Dragon, um, that's the sacral mm -hmm. chakra. That is where a lot of our uh, thoughts get caught. Where we and I would suggest to you that take a deep breath, mm -hmm. 
and then breathe out fully. And so when you get into this place of fear, I just want you to put some energy into your spine, feel your heart, take a deep breath, and then allow yourself to feel that. How does that feel to you? Relaxing. Mm. Yeah. So we're not relaxing the spine. We're, um, we're putting tension into the spine and we're p- pulling ourselves inward and we're allowing our central nervous system to start working properly. Just like when your heart, this is the hard drive of your uh, computer of your body. And so we want to strengthen this. What's happening with you is you Uh-oh. have to... Uh-oh. Benny's wrapping us up. Uh-oh. What? Er, listen, Erna, I would love for you to collect with, uh, just get with Colette. I mean, we lost track of time. I love that. Colette Marie, <laughs> Steph, and everyone. I'm Dr. Pat. We're going to do this again. Don't worry about it. We'll be back next time. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.